ex-Lancashire police PC Christopher Tierney was handed his marching orders on Friday, May the 20th, after a gross misconduct hearing for allegations of racist, sexual and inappropriate behaviour towards nine female police colleagues. Tierney, who was a traffic officer, the most despised of the lot, was said to have sent racist, abusive and other inappropriate messages to one female officer whom he had a toxic relationship with. In other incidents, he, beha he behaved inappropriately to eight other female officers by sexual or emotional behaviour or messages. Tierney is said to have abused his position as these colleagues were all junior to him and in doing so abused the power imbalance between him and them. Tierney often contacted the women on Facebook or WhatsApp, typically asking them to meet him for a coffee at McDonald's. Cheapskate. He described one officer as hot and another as the hottest girl on the team. He kissed some of them and started or attempted to start relationships with some, creating friction at work. He used the Lancashire Police internal telephone directory to get individual female officers contact details and breached other police working procedures. The police misconduct hearing began on Wednesday when the details of messages and other evidence against PC Tierney were discussed. Tierney tried to offer some mitigation in that he had worked for Lancashire Police for some 17 years, adding that my interactions with the public have all been very positive. As a traffic officer, I've dealt with tens of thousands of people over the years. Nobody's ever complained about my behaviour. I saved one man who had been stabbed in the throat during a frenzied attack. I helped an elderly woman who went missing and was in a difficult situation. Sickness record is impeccable. However, I've been off work for 23 out of 26 months during this investigation. Impeccable then, is it? This has created financial worries with loss of pay and health issues. I've never had mental health issues in the past, but I've had been but have been prescribed antidepressants during this investigation and been admitted to hospital for stress issues. <laughs> I was waiting for that bit to come up. On Friday, PC Tierney spoke again about the messages. He said, I'm sorry about the messages. When I read them now, it feels like they were written by someone else. I cannot understand why I did that. I also understand that Lancashire Police has to uphold public confidence. Summing up the hearing, Matthew Holdcroft, a lawyer representing the Lancashire Police against PC Tierney, said, this is an officer who must be dismissed. The public can have no confidence in him. The fact he wears a uniform must be an embarrassment. His behavior can only be described as predatory. There is almost no mitigation. The public would be appalled if this officer was ever allowed to go on duty again. Chairman of the hearing, Karimullah Akbar Khan, Karimullah Akbar Khan, again said PC Tierney's allegations about PCH, who he had a previous relationship, were not proven. He said, you had the opportunity to call PCH to this hearing as a witness, but chose not to. Instead, you have made wild and unfounded allegations about PCH in a last ditch attempt to blame others for this conduct. The misconduct panel chairman said PC Tierney had breached all five categories of police standards covering issues including equality and diversity, orders and instructions, duties and responsibilities and discreditable behaviour. He said the officer's conduct will undoubtedly damage the reputation of Lancashire Police with the public, if it can be damaged any more that is, but especially within ethnic communities and especially women of Islamic faith, women and girls. The officer targeted women officers, took deliberate predatory steps and concealed wrongdoings. His actions affected multiple victims. His conduct was a significant deviation from police standards, especially amid concerns about racism and treatment of vulnerable communities, including women and girls. I didn't realise women and girls were communities. That's a new one for me. The chairman said the public would be rightly concerned that PC Tierney had behaved in a discriminatory and predatory manner. To be, I'd be more concerned if he hadn't, considering what we know about the police. He had been an officer for eight years when his breaches began, attempting to initiate sexual and emotional relationships with junior female colleagues. Regarding the risks of re-offending or repeat behaviour, PC Tierney had shown little contrition to PCH and had tried to use a misconduct hearing to blame PCH. 
the public would have no confidence that PC Tierney would not repeat this behaviour, said the chairman. Giving the formal dismissal for gross misconduct, the chairman said, the officer's behaviour has been deplorable and disgraceful. There can be no place in the police for people like him. Dismissal without notice is the only appropriate outcome for this case. That is the decision of the panel. Well, at least that's another predatory PC gone until they hire the next one. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. Until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.